I said, it was just looking at the size, being a little, being, being a little kid and standing in a museum and looking up at these monumental paintings. It's like, and again, the subject matter seemed approachable. You know, I mean, I look at a Raphael and I go, no way. You know, that's just, that's just, you know, you know, that's, that's just too far to, uh, to comprehend in terms of an ability. Uh, but these big statements by these abstract expressionist artists were like, oh, that somehow I, I connect to it. I connect to it by possibility. I connect to it just like monumental scale. So that was it. But I think as I got older, it just always was there. I mean, I mean, you know, and my mother's family is from Phoenix, so I spent a lot of time in the West growing up too. And again, I know that scale, the sense of landscape in that sense. Uh, and so ended up with an with a BFA in, in art. And uh, then subsequently, a few years later, went to get my master's degree, but I got my master's degree in scenography, set design for theater. And then that took me into more, more design work and off to LA doing film and television design as production designer, art director. So sort of a layered career, but always, always painting, you know always having gallery shows, always having a studio practice. I was always interested in abstraction. I was always interested in scale. I mean, as a kid, going back to those childhood experiences, a lot of those pieces that I picked in the museum as a kid were, you know, were like, you know, these huge, massive Clifford Still paintings or these, you know, these abstract expressionist stuff that just seemed possible, you know, but yet the scale was so exciting. That, uh, that I've always been attracted to scale. Again, that plays into the theater side of things. You know, I like to create a moment. Uh, and, a lot of, and I'd like to create that moment um, in scale, kind of in human scale. So, you know, the main body of my work that most people are probably familiar with has to do with sort of this synthesis of, of botanical and biological elements. And there's always sort of this kind of sexual or physical component to it. And, um, and that just sort of came naturally. I mean, I, you know, I was sort of just years ago playing with the idea of line and form and you know, taking something that might be a thigh and turning it and shaping it and creating volume around it and then going edge to edge with another piece and another piece and another piece and sort of bringing together you know, these compositions. And this new work, um, you know, played off of that, like the work right behind me. It's like, a, you know, sort of the idea, just very abstractly, were these contoured shapes of maybe a hill or a landscape, you know, just very minimal, very, you know, very simple gestural line. And then between those lines and that volume or that cavity that's created between those more organic lines, there are more constructed lines. And for me, it was sort of this idea of hill. And, I mean, if you think about like a... Um, Thomas Hart Benton painting or something, you know, with those stretched out uh, furrows, you know, and those landscapes he'd paint. There was sort of a connection there as well. But it came from those early experiences of just being a kid, walking those furrows, walking those fields, and finding these, you know, wonderful artifacts. But when, when artwork becomes too tied to, like, you know, it, it, can't, it can't transcend itself from a topic or you know a cultural issue or it becomes politicized or and everything's politicized I get that you know uh, where it, where you can't get outside of the message you know it's it's you know I you know look I, I get it already you don't have to tell me again you know but I want to see something else you know I want to I want to be a, you know I want to be able to feel it and be a part of it and experience it not just be uh, you know, hammered with the message you're telling me or saying this is what this is because that's, that's a closed system. I don't need that. You know, I want, I want something that, that uh, you know, that, I'm, that, that you know, can transcend itself, can be that thing and be something completely unexpected.